Hello, hello. Thank you for joining. Let's just wait for a couple of more minutes. As usual, I'm not using a headphone this time. I hope I'm audible. I hope I'm audible, right? I'm not using a headphone, an earphone rather. Can anyone confirm whether I'm audible or not? Congratulations, uh, thank you, but for what? Uh, Nibirita, can you confirm if I'm audible or not? Because I'm not using an earphone. Thank you, thank you so much. So I'm going to quickly start with uh, today's topic and it is very, very close to my heart. Uh, because often people confuse between self-love and narcissism. So that's where this topic comes into picture. You know, the narcissism and gaslighting. Okay. So uh, I just hope I'm audible. You are. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Shabazz. I hope you're doing well. So uh, narcissism and gaslighting. Now, while a lot of you have heard about narcissism, but gaslighting is uh, a new term, probably considerably a new term for a lot of people. So uh, we'll talk about both these terms and I'll try to wrap up as uh, or provide you as much as information within half an hour because it's a very broad topic. Now I'll start with a small uh, you know, story of, uh, of a Greek god whose name was, uh, you know, whose name was Narcissus. So this Greek god was so, so, uh, you know, uh, envisaged, uh, he, he was so enamored with his own beauty that he used to keep adoring himself by looking at his uh, visage on the, you know, in the pool of water. So he, he used to adore his own uh, image. He, he was so, so... Uh, um, you know kind of breathtakingly beautiful according to him now because of this uh, he was so engrossed with self he was contemptuous of people who loved him and he kind of banished those people who did not love him or who uh, and uh, you know they, he also made it a point that those people who loved him sometimes he took them to the point of they had to give their lives to prove their love and devotion towards him. So this is the extent of, uh, you know, uh, self-love or extreme self-love that we are talking about. And that is why it is from his name, the name of God that is Narcissus, the term narcissism comes into being, right? So it is excessive self-love. Now, self-love is great. But excessive self-love becomes a problem. I'll just uh, I'll just uh, change the position of the phone a little bit because I'm not able to see the comments. All right. So, uh, people with narcissism or narcissist personality disorder they display 
traits which are similar to Greek god Narcissus. Now, those, now, when you tell the same thing to a narcissist, he will be extremely happy because what he will say is, oh, he, she or he is actually comparing me with God. They will only take that part which fits with their uh, image of themselves. They will actually kind of ignore the rest of the thing. Hello. Thank you for joining. So, narcissism is excessive self-involvement that causes a person to ignore the need of others. So, self-love is great. But narcissism is something like you are only engrossed with yourself and you completely ignore the need of others around you. Okay. Almost everyone. Now, this is a fact that almost each one of us engage in narcissist behavior okay people but then there are the, what dif, what actually differentiates between us or a person with narcissist personality disorder so yes narcissism is actually a personality disorder and it comes under type b personality disorder okay so uh, people with narcissist personality disorder or commonly known as npd they have uh, personalities characterized by intense self-involvement and chronic disregard of others people with narcissism are excessively fixated on their own needs and while simultaneously obsessed with gaining approval from others and if you give them approval you are in their good books if you don't give them approval then they will start actually blaming you for a lot of other stuff we'll we'll, we'll, we'll go into all that aspects and this narcissist people they one of the major traits is their um, relationships are extremely superficial they don't have meaningful relationship it is only uh, superficial from like uh, and it is only associated with what benefits they are deriving from those relationships and they are designed as a source of admiration rather than a channel of mutual intimacy so it is more of like you know a devotion kind of a relationship so the partner continuously have to adore or uh, shower admiration about the person about different aspects and everything there is no mutual intimacy they will also not tell you that how good you are they are only basking in their own glory so they may engage in narcissistic abuse either using someone as a tool to feed their ego or neglecting the need of someone who depends on them. This is one major characteristic of a narcissist person. In fact, I, all the narcissist person that I have met till now in this life, they all of them display this character that they use other people to feed their ego or they will completely neglect the other person uh, who actually depends on them for their uh, emotional need or any other needs. Okay. So please feel free to ask your questions because this was a requested topic again, narcissism. And uh, what are the traits of a narcissist? The first trait. Can anybody tell me what, what do you think will be one of the traits of a narcissist person? Because I'm sure there are a couple of people whom I can see they, have, they are here who have actually requested this topic. So what do you think is one of the, uh, or the traits of a narcissist? How do you identify a narcissist? What are the traits? Can anybody tell? It is okay if you're even if you're wrong, that's okay. Let me see if you know or if you know how to identify a narcissist person. Anyone? Self praise, I'm right, if you're wrong. Yes. What else? Anybody, Jayashri, I see Orko as well. Anybody who would like to answer this? What trait do you think a narcissism, a narcissist would have? If somebody is only engaged in self-praise, I am right, you are wrong, then what the person is missing? That is one of the major traits of that person. Unable to take criticism, excellent. That is one major trait of the narcissist. Unable to take any kind of criticism. And most importantly, they will lack empathy. They are manipulative. They uh, use projection as a defense mechanism. Projection as in you tell them this is your problem. 
they will actually show and prove it to you that it is not their problem it is your problem and they will act turn the table towards you or put the ball in your court in a very swift manner so that you start con you know you start actually uh, questioning your uh, your image your values and uh, yourself that is one major characteristic of narcissist they start making you doubt your own existence your own values your own principles that is what narcissist would do uh, they are emotionally cold they are insensitive they never take responsibility they try to control people and as nibedita said they have this sense of grandiose around them like you know self praise i me and myself and uh, most importantly these people have the highest chance of going for infidelity they are not uh, stable in their relationships because the moment they uh, they know that they have got their share of admiration from this person they will move to somebody else who is providing them with more admiration that is one another um, you know characteristic of a narcissist all right now the question comes is what is then gaslighting because gaslighting is also one of the trait of a narcissist now gaslighting itself people can do gaslighting and might not be a narcissist also so gaslighting exists as an individual trait as well but uh, gaslighting is definitely one of the trait of narcissist a narcissist will have a gaslighting uh, as a tendency but not all gaslighters would have narcissism in them okay so what is gaslighting so you know gaslighting from if we, if i'm talking from a historical perspective this term has been taken from a play called gaslight that was uh, staged in the year 1930s and uh, here there is this husband who uh, has this attempt who was making this attempt to make his wife um, to drive his wife crazy and that keeps and what he used to do to do that is he kept uh, turning down the gas powered light so made it dim and every time the uh, wife complained that you know why the lights are dim then the husband used to say no they are not dim. Uh, they are not dim they are the same you you it is in your mind so like this if it is happening for a period of 2 months 3 months the person who is saying that the wife she started thinking that she is going mad because uh, somehow uh, she is losing she is seeing things which the other people are not seeing so that is where gaslighting comes into picture so the trait of a gaslighter or what is gaslighting is they will make you doubt it's like a psychological abuse you have to understand this is not this is not a, a funny thing gaslighting is an abuse okay a lot of people engage in gaslighting without being aware of uh, you know without being aware of this entire thing that they are engaging in gaslighting but gaslighting is a form of psychological abuse where a person or group makes someone question their sanity their perception of reality or their memories they will actually make you question your own existence gaslighting people okay and narcissism starts from there a person might start from gaslighting and slowly develop the other traits okay people experiencing gaslighting often feel confused anxious and unable to trust themselves of course so just think of that poor wife she the husband purposefully dimmed all the gas powered lights but the wife could not understand why the her is there a problem in her vision or is there a problem in her brain the poor person started doubting herself her credibility her she was not able to trust herself anymore that is the power of gaslighters that is exactly what they do you know what is a gaslighter you light up something but you are lighting up the person for a wrong reason not for the right reason if you have any question again i'm saying please feel free to ask okay now what are the uh, what are the aspects that a gaslighter would do or a person who engage in a gaslighting behavior would do can you please give a simple example where one engages in gaslighting but not him or so aware of it yes i will just that is exactly what i'm going to say right now so uh, there is this national domestic violence hotline uh, which we have in not in india in the us and they indicate that a person experiencing gaslighting they may so what happens to you is uh, you know a person will come keep on telling you things which will make you question your own existence which will make you question your own experience they will make you question your own feelings own judgment 
that is what a gaslighter would do and what will you feel you will feel confused constantly you will second guess oh, maybe he is right maybe i am wrong that is exactly what you will do you will find it difficult to make decisions even simple ones you frequently question if they are too sensitive you will feel maybe i'm being too sensitive maybe i'm just becoming a cry baby maybe other people are correct this is exactly what you will do become withdrawn you become unsociable you become withdrawn you constantly instead of that person uh, apologizing you constantly apologize to that person you know you're, yes you are right i'm sorry i'm sorry things like this you defend the abusive person's behavior so let's say i see that somebody else is doing this engaging in gaslighting behavior with you i tell you that you know jayshree this person is actually trying to make you question your own existence why are you indulging in that you will start defending that person you will not uh, listen to me that is how they play with your mind gaslighters and that is why it is called an abuse a psychological abuse okay uh lie to family and friends to avoid having to make excuses for them and you feel hopeless joyless worthless or incompetent and that is how in you know from all this incompetence that what what exactly start anxiety and then slowly depression creeps in right so what are the different gaslighting techniques that you can watch out for it there are different of course there are people may resort to different different techniques but uh, sometimes it can involve manipulating a person's environment behind their back just like this you know dimming the gas powered light other time the abuse is extremely or entirely verbal or emotional it is not physical that's why it is called psychological abuse and not a physical abuse okay it is either verbal or it is emotional they won't say anything but they will do things like this that it will impact you emotionally all right common techniques now i'm going to read out certain examples that i have already prepared so that i can just you know it we, we can save on time so withholding refusing to listen to any concerns or pretending not to understand them for example i don't have time to listen to this nonsense you are not making any sense this kind of statement they will say uh next is uh, countering they will say i heard you say it you never remember our conversations right they will question that you know they are questioning your memory next is forgetting or denial pretending to they just forgot the events and all what are you talking about i never promised you that so you can see these statements are very very common in our daily relationships with people as well we don't even know that we are engaging in this kind of behavior we can just simply say what are you talking about mene mene kab bola tha mujhe to yaad nahi yes sir and this is one aspect of gaslighting we don't know but we engage in that that's why we are saying it is extremely rooted in the way we are talking you know the how we frame our sentences what we say has a major impact on the person on the other hand next is blocking or diversion like have you been t- talking to your sister again she is always putting stupid ideas in your head so just trying to control your actions your decisions okay or trivializing you are so sensitive everyone else thought my joke was funny why they are you taking it so seriously understood so this is how it happens so let's say uh not there is no everyone else but that is how they are going to um, what should i say they they are going to justify their actions and question your own uh, judgment so a gaslighter you often uses the target's mistakes and overreactions to cast themselves as the victim not the other person for example an abuser now this is something i'm sure a lot of you will find it very very common for example an abuser may scream accusations at a person until the other party must raise their voice to be heard the abuser may then cut the conversation short claiming the other person is out of control and too aggressive in some cases the abuser may accuse the other person of being the true gaslighter so for example you and i are arguing for about something and i'm constantly saying something and you are just not able to say anything or put your uh, point of view forward 
so finally what you have to do you have to raise your voice and you have to say can you please listen to me and now i being the gaslighter i will tell you see you're so aggressive you are always trying to dominate me yeah you are the gaslighter you are actually trying to uh, you are creating havoc or you are playing with my mind this is exactly they will turn the table towards you this is how swift the gaslighters are okay but as i said narcissist people are extremely proficient in gaslighting but not all gaslighters are narcissists some gaslighters are only doing this because they want to control you they just want to have the upper hand on any relationship or upper hand on any situation narcissism is not about upper hand narcissism is controlling and self admiration and only i me and myself nobody else exists around me as long as you adore me okay be my pet if you don't adore me you can go and take a walk that is how their entire pro forma of relationship of uh, self love is and that's why it is called a disorder because it is not normal all right if you have any questions please feel free to ask i think i'm talking too much and um, these things are so so close to my heart uh, you know uh, i have dealt with so many narcissists in my life that uh, even if i'm not referring to it i will probably would have spoken but i just want to give you proper examples for you to be able to relate to the things that are uh, happening in your life okay now when i'm talking about narcissism narcissist personality disorder there are certain four traits that has been uh, that have been actually uh, jotted down or listed by dsm5 now dsm5 is the the american uh, board who decides which are the disorders and which are not the disorders okay i know nivedita this resonates extremely well so uh, what will why it is called a disorder because it will cause significant impairment in their sense of self and impersonal uh, interpersonal life a personality dominated by one or more harmful traits impairments in personality those are stable over time which appear across may, many contexts impairments that are not better described by the person's environment developmental stage or substance abuse so these uh, i can now understand that i have been in a relationship with a narcissist but did not even knew about this yes it is you would not understand until it's very late because you will understand oh you know how cool that person loves themselves so much I, why don't i have this kind of a love for myself but it is only very late that you understand the person was a narcissist and you were normal mm. okay so the broad categories of behavior would be they extreme uh, success power or fame constant need for admiration and affirmation a strong sense of entitlement envy of others particularly their achievements or believes that others should envy them okay inflated sense of self esteem this is the right word inflated sense of self esteem megalomaniac which we call them megalo uh, megalomaniacal tendencies tendencies believe that they are special or unique just like jadoo uh, setting unrealistic goals exploitation of others difficulty maintaining healthy relationships lack of empathy or ability to take responsibility for behaviors cannot tolerate criticism okay so now the question is and the this is called the golden question can a narcissist change what do you think let me hear from you so i know now i know what is narcissist what is gaslighting what are the behavior how do they speak what they try to do everything i know but my final question is if it's in narcissist personality is a disorder can this disorder or can a person change somebody who is narcissist can it be worked upon what do you think no one thinks anything i know one whom i'm sure will never change <laughs> as waiting for this i think they can but not until they themselves want to both are correct uh yes until they want to change you cannot change them and they are extremely difficult to change in fact any personality disorder is extremely difficult to treat because you don't have any medicines for that 
okay personality disorder can only happen through introspection and the second thing is therapy these are the only two things for personality disorder people with narcissist personality disorder are unlikely to seek any treatment because the first step would be to realize the behavior which they have to identify and acknowledge exactly people with narcissist personality disorder are unlikely to seek any treatment and are often highly defensive about their narcissism even when they do seek treatment they may struggle to recognize their traits use therapy as a way to gain admiration or blame others for their difficulties some people with uh, npd are manipulative and charming they even try to charm their therapist and take the therapist into their uh, confidence they even try and do that i have faced that but they, that was a you know wrong person to do with so no medicinal treatment the therapies might work cbt that is cognitive behavior therapy is something which work you can only work on the thought processes only when the person acknowledges that there is problem in them otherwise they are going to defend their narcissism they are going to make you feel bad or they are going to blame others that's all they are going to do so that's about narcissism and uh, gaslighting i hope i was able to give you enough details for you now to quickly understand or rec you know recognize somebody who is a narcissist and someone who is a gaslighter or someone who is just portraying self love okay so usually the narcissists you know are the people who will blame others for being narcissist how you are such a narcissist but uh, they themselves are they don't understand like they don't have uh, they don't have the mirror in front of them the mirror is always turned the other way okay so that's pretty much about narcissism and gaslighting any question if you have we have four more minutes left and thankfully i could wrap up the entire thing in 30 minutes so if you have any question please feel free to ask we have four more minutes no questions anyone they say that people have made me like this yeah talk to my hand tell them jayshree talk to my hand and how do you deal with narcissists by the way do you argue with them because both of you as uh, nibedita and jayshree both of you um, have dealt with uh, narcissists how do you deal with them now that you know how narcissists are do you argue with them do you try to prove your point to them because if you try to do that's a waste of time they are not going to listen to you so it's best is not to waste your time out there the moment uh, argue 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 uh, there is no point arguing with these people there's just no point you have to just cry howl sh uh, shout yeah you can do all of that but they are still not going to change they are going to stick to their uh, you know point they are going to stick to their narcissism they are going to stick to their self admiration excessive self admiration rather so best to, to, uh, no point of arguing they just make us more miserable so it's better to walk away now i walk out exactly you just have to walk out you cannot 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 let go of your sanity because of this narcissist just keep you know i have dealt with narcissist narcissist in my life personal life as well so all i used to do after i understood that the person is a narcissist silent treatment i just don't say anything and the person will realize the person was not a complete narcissist person was more of a gaslighter okay i understood that by that time i started giving silent treatment i don't say anything initially i used to prove my point but then it's a waste of time and energy i would rather do something more productive than try to prove my point to a narcissist so while you can work with depression anxiety and everything you it is very difficult to work with narcissist unless they want you to work on them okay so if you have a narcissist in your life i wish you all the best i just hope that they realize and they want to work on themselves otherwise tough time lies ahead of you okay so
thank you so much all three of you who have been constantly watching and those who came and you went and those who are going to watch it later i hope this session is was fruitful for you okay so catch me live again on instagram on wednesday another requested topic which is work life balance so till then take care of yourself and stay away from narcissists